In your role as a database administrator, I'm sure you've gotten requests to make copies of production databases to be used for testing patches and updates that then will need to be updated at an irregular interval. Do you have the tools that can help you manage these requests without pulling you away from other projects? Hello and welcome to Tech Bytes. My name is David Teague, Technical Marketing Engineer at Nutanix. And when I was a DBA, I used to get a lot of requests from users who wanted to be able to control the update process of their database. And I always had to rely on the built-in database tools because I didn't really have anything else that would help me out to automate that process for them. When a user would request a copy of a production database to use for testing, I had several steps that needed to be completed. I had to send a request to the server team for a new database server VM to be built. Once the server was built, I would need to install and configure the database software. With the database now up and running, I would take a backup of the production database. I would then copy the database to the new server that had been built for testing. I would restore the database on the test server, and then I would let the user know that the database is ready to be used for testing. Then every time the user wanted their database updated with a fresh copy of data from production, I would need to get a backup of the production database, copy it back to the test server, restore the database, then let the user know that the database is ready to be used. With Nutanix Era, several of those steps are eliminated or accelerated. Let's walk through the process of creating a clone in Nutanix Era. From the Era dashboard, we're going to select the production database that we want to make a clone of. We're then going to select the time machine associated with that database. The time machine is where you will find the information about what backups of the database have been run. From the Time Machine screen, we will select Actions, then create a database clone. We are going to take the defaults here, which will default to the most recent backup. On the next screen, we're going to select our new server name for the Test Database Server VM. Then select the Compute and Network Profiles that have already been set up. We're then going to choose our Administrator Password, choose to join the domain, and assign a SQL Server Administrator account. On the next screen, we're going to rename our database so that it is easily identified as a test database. With Nutanix Era, you can set a schedule to automatically refresh the clones from the source copy. However, this user wants to be able to update their database on their own schedule, so we're not going to select that option right now. The clone process is now complete and the clone is creating. Era saves several steps from the previous process because it uses profiles, which are customized to your environment with the settings for the database server VM, network, database software, and Windows domain. Since the IT department wants to control when the clone is refreshed, we are going to provide them with a PowerShell script to do that. This could be a time-consuming process to create the script from scratch. Luckily, Arrow will help you create this script. We are now going to go to the Database Details page of the database that we created the clone from earlier and click on the Clone section. Now we're going to select the clone we created earlier and choose Refresh. This is the process you would use if you needed to update the cloned copy of the database with the most recent version of the source production database. However, since the user wants the ability to refresh the database on their own, we're going to select the API Equivalent button and choose PowerShell. You can also save this script in JSON, curl, Python, Golang, and JavaScript if you are working with other automation tools or not using PowerShell. Once we have PowerShell selected, we're going to click on Download to save the script to our PC. From here, I'm going to open up the script in the editor. VS Code is the editor of choice that I like to use. From here, I'm going to make a slight edit to the script. I'm going to replace the section that says User Peter Timestamp with a section called Latest Snapshot and set that to True. This will let me get the most recent snapshot from the production database to refresh my clone with when they run the PowerShell script. I'm going to save the original command in a comment in case they want to go back to the original snapshot if it's still kept in era, or if they wanted to select a specific time or date that they want to refresh their clone from. Now that I've made those slight edits, I'm going to save the script and run it from inside of VS Code. In the PowerShell terminal section, we can see that the script ran successfully. If I open up Era and go to the Operations section, I can see that the clone is refreshing. Now that we know that the script works, we can give the script to our IT department. They can now run this script whenever they want to update their clone with the most recent copy of the production database. So the API Equivalent button is a powerful tool inside of Nutanix Era. It can help you create one-off scripts for users or even more complex scripts that can be used for automation tools and you don't even have to be a proficient script writer. You can learn more about Nutanix Era by clicking on the link to the playlist shown here. If you'd like to try out Nutanix Era for free, click on the link to the Nutanix Era test drive.